And now to your voice, your vote election coverage. A majority of the ballots have been counted, and KXY4 is working for you following local races and state measures on this election night. With 75% of ballots counted in Spokane County, the results for Spokane's three city council seats are in, and there will be a new face at the council table. KXY4's Colleen O'Brien live at the county elections office with the latest. And Nadine, with those 75% uh, of ballots counted, we are uh, sure that these three candidates will be taking seats at the city council table. Amber Waldreff, an incumbent, she ran unopposed in this race, so that was a sure seat for her. Candace Mum represents the north side, and that seat she won was vacant as Nancy McLaughlin decided to not run for another term. Mum's victory party was at Central Food in Kendall Yards. There, she spoke to her crowd of supporters about the footwork that went into her campaign. Campaign. John Snyder, an incumbent who represents the South Hill and portions of downtown, will get a second term. He ga uh, gathered with supporters at the public market. Both candidates spoke about public safety being at the top of their priority list for the two-year term. Let's get some improvements with um, the police having a little more contact. I think we've got some plans for that with the precinct model. I know the north side's very excited to have more police presence um, on the street and in the neighborhoods. I think we're going to get the police and firefighter staffing back up in this new budget. I'm, I'm really happy that the mayor's budget's kind of done a, you know, 180 from last year and we're restoring those cuts. And here are the official results for tonight's returns. John Snyder took 63% of the vote and John Ahern brought in 35%. Candace Mum won 54% of the vote and Michael Cannon took in 45%. And uh, there were some questions on Facebook about how official these results are. Ballots are still being counted if you put yours uh, in one of the ballot boxes or in the mail today. So your vote still will be counted, but with 75% of the ballots counted at this point, these results are pretty sure. Reporting live, Colleen O'Brien KXOY4. All right, thank you, Colleen. Initiative 522 has it's been one of the closest races in Washington this year with heavy hitters on both sides. Now, 522 would require non exempt foods and agricultural products to clearly label foods if they are genetically engineered or contain genetically engineered ingredients. And here are the numbers. These are statewide numbers. 522 failing with 54% of voters saying no. More than $20 million spent to defeat this measure and the costliest initiative campaign in state history. The numbers aren't final, however, that gap could close. In Spokane County, Proposition 1 would generate $18 million through a property tax increase to purchase land near Fairchild Air Force Base. It would move seven mobile home parks away from the runway. As supporters say it would protect the base's future. Prop 1 is failing. It's close, though. 51% of voters say no. Over in Coeur d'Alene, the mayor, Sandy Bloom, there choosing not to run for re-election this year, so the seat was wide open. Steve Widmeyer looks like uh, he will be the city's new mayor with 56% of the vote, followed by Mary Souza and Joseph Kunka, which is 2%. A similar situation in Post Falls, Mayor Clay Larkin not running for re-election. Ronald Jacobson, a big lead with 66% uh, over Kerry Thorson. And if you'd like more election results, just go to our website, kxoy.com. We'll continue to update the numbers as more ballots are counted. We're told they will be counted in Spokane County by 6 o'clock tomorrow night.